Hi, Elaine Marilaka Settleson with Astrology Channel ETC. I'm going to start talking about in the next couple of videos the Mercury in retrograde, which happens in the sign of Scorpio, and that starts on October 4th all the way through October 25th. But keep in mind that when a planet moves into retrograde, not just Mercury, it, it has the appearance of moving backwards, but it actually has shifted its axis and the way it rotates. So that's our perception but we start to feel it about a week prior. So think around September 30th, October 1st, you're gonna to start to feel the effects of Mercury in retrograde in the sign of Scorpio. And then again on the other end, when Mercury is moving out of retrograde on September, um, excuse me, on October 25th, add a few extra days, maybe through the 30th, before it really has time to reboot so that we can reboot our technology. Now. Um, a couple of tips with Mercury in retrograde, and we're going to have a couple of these videos so um, I could spread it out, spread the, the wealth. <laughs> uh, the tips are that when we are in a Mercury in retrograde, the perception that we have is very different than when Mercury is direct in motion. And again, the planets don't do anything to you. And I say this to all my clients, and if you know me, you know that I say that we live in a cooperation with our cosmos. When the planets make a move, you feel it. When, when you make a move, the planets reflect that in the cosmos. So what happens when Mercury goes into retrograde motion? Your perception is not just straight and narrow, as it typically would be, you bypass your thoughts and you start to experience different feelings or perhaps feelings that have been there for a while. Here's a key, number one key for Mercury in retrograde before we continue the video series, and that is the past always comes back in a retrograde. Why? It's there to ask you one question, and that is, are you done with me yet? So people will come back, experiences, old thoughts and old feelings will come back, and the only question you need to answer upon review and renegotiation is, are you done with me yet? We're going to talk more about this in the next video. If you like what you hear, please join me on uh, my YouTube channel, on Facebook, and on my website, Astrology Channel ETC, and leave a comment. I want to know what you're experiencing so we can have a conversation.